Your access is denied. One of the qualities of a high valued woman is to be very selective of the people you entertain, the people that you bring in your circle and the places you show up. It is time to revoke those access cards. Not everyone needs to have that. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm gonna take that back. I need that back. I need that back. You don't have access to me anymore. It's quality over quantity. Becoming her. You know, we're on this journey to becoming the best versions of ourselves. And each day we wake up, we're striving to reach our highest potential, which is why I truly believe that you cannot become her without being a high valued woman. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the importance of becoming a high valued woman, what a high valued woman is, and then I'm going to give you five life changing traits of a high valued woman. And I hope you take this, you implement it into your life to help you level up. But before we get started, I just want to say thank you all so much for all of the love and support. I started creating content a few months ago and truly I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for all of your kind words, all of your love and your support. So thank you for that. And if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Nana. I create self-improvement content. I am on this journey to becoming the best version of myself and every tricks, every tips that I've learned, I am passing it down to the next woman hoping that she can implement it into her life to become the best version of herself. If you're all about leveling up and becoming the best version of yourself, then you definitely want to join our community by subscribing down so that you can get alerts every time I post a new video. And for those of you that have watched these videos and you think they're helpful, please go ahead and share to another woman that you think could benefit from this. I truly appreciate you guys and I thank you for all the love and support. So with that being said, I'm going to be giving you five qualities of a high valued woman. Take it, make it yours, implement it into your life, let it work for you. As long as it's helping you become the best version of yourself, baby girl, it's all that matters. How to become a high valued woman. First and foremost, what does that even mean? What is a high valued woman? So the definition of a high valued woman would be a woman that knows her self worth. She understands her importance and she understands what she brings to the table. She's always trying to improve herself and she never settles for anything less than she deserves. She's very selective of the things that she entertains and the people that she surrounds herself with. She's respectful of others and herself. She's not influenced. She doesn't do anything she doesn't want to do. She's emotionally intelligent. She's independent and she carries herself with class. And she always remembers that she is the price. Your access is denied. <laughs> You, you don't know me. You don't know me anymore. You know, that girl that you used to know, I'm not that person anymore. I don't just show up places anymore. I don't just pull up places anymore. And I'm very selective of the people that I entertain. One of the qualities of a high valued woman is to be very selective of the people you entertain, the people that you bring in your circle and the places you show up. Because becoming that woman that you want to be, baby girl, not everyone needs to have access to you. Not everyone needs to know your number. Not everyone needs to be able to text you. You can't be responding to everyone. And just because someone invited you somewhere does not mean you need to show up. You might be called bougie. Bo bougie i can't say it but that's okay because you're moving differently now because you want different so one of the qualities of a high valued woman is that you don't have access to me like that anymore so that way when people do have access to you they value your time they value you and they're extremely excited to be around you because they know not everyone have access to you so it's time to start pulling back a little bit and understanding that you know i don't just you don't know me you know, you don't know me like that anymore. I don't show up places like that anymore. For me, it's like, I'm already a homebody. So I'm pretty much not showing up unless there's food or unless you're a friend and I really love and you know, I love you and I want to be around you. But to, for someone to just quickly say, oh, I saw uh, Nana at this place or Nana at that place, that's a lie. You did not see Nana anywhere. Nana doesn't pull up anywhere. Nana does not show up anywhere. Nana doesn't go anywhere that doesn't serve her. What is it doing for me? How is it bettering me? Because if I'm interacting with you, that means we have similar things in common. That means we're trying to elevate. That means we're trying to become the best versions of ourselves. I'm not just pulling up because you invited me. I don't party. I don't do none of that stuff. Nothing's wrong with it. For me personally, I just don't do it because it does nothing for me. So as a high valued woman, you have to be very mindful of the places you go. It is time to revoke those ac access cards and start taking those things back. It is time to revoke those access cards. Not everyone needs to have that. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm going to take that back. I need that back. I need that back. Be comfortable 
with leaving situations that no longer serves you. My girls, <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing here? I've seen so many situations, oh, I've heard so many times where a woman says, we've been through so much together. You know, he's hurt me so many times, but we've been, you know, we've been together for years. So I like, I don't uh, No, no. If that man no longer serves you, if that friend no longer serves you, if that relationship is not bringing peace and happiness, if that relationship is not helping you elevate, if that relationship is dragging you and bringing you down, you've got to let it go. Come here. Let it go. Okay. Another quality of a high valued woman is that she knows when to leave situations. When things are not serving her, she doesn't stay because she knows her value. She knows her importance. She understands that, you know, that's, that's where having God comes in. When you know what you bring to the table, you know that God got you. When you know that you're giving your all to a relationship or a situation, whatever it is, it's not just a boyfriend or a girlfriend kind of thing, but when you know that you're pouring and being the best person that you can be for this person or to this situation and you're not getting that in return, you can let it go because you trust that God got you no matter what. You trust that God's going to open more doors for you and God's going to send the right people into your life that's going to give you what you're asking for. So a high valued woman understands that I'm gold and I'll be good no matter where, where I go. So a high valued woman is okay to leave situations that no longer serves her. Do not let society tell you that you have to stay in situations that no longer serves you. Some people don't believe that they have what it takes to start a new life. It is okay if something is not serving you, you've got to let it go. Because you've got to trust God enough to understand that if I let this go, God has something bigger and better for me. So becoming a high valued woman, you have to understand that you cannot be in situations that no longer serve you. Let it go. I'm going to do a two for one here. A high valued woman does not chase. A high valued woman does not chase. Let me tell you, it's the same situation when I said you've got to trust God because when you trust God, what is yours will always be yours. You will never have to chase a situation. You will never have to chase a friendship or relationship. So sit down, calm down, breathe. And remember that what is yours will be yours. Another quality of a high valued woman is that she is private. She keeps to herself and she keeps her life, her personal life private. Not everyone needs to know your business. Not everyone needs to know what's going on in your life. Sometimes even the friends and the family members, not everyone needs to know because not everyone wants the best for you just because you feel like you want the best for everyone else. As a high value woman, it's time to start keeping some things to yourself. You know, you want to have that, that mystery to you. Hmm, like what's going on with her? What is she all about? You want to have people coming up with their own stories and creating whatever image or whatever, you know, story they want in their heads. But you have to start keeping your personal life private. I'm not even going to lie to you, okay? There are times where I get on social media, the days where I'm like, I deserve this, and I'm just like trying to look into other people's life because usually I don't care. Like I go on social media, I focus on what I need to do, and I get off. I don't care what anyone is doing. It's none of my business. If it's not watering my grass, I don't care. But there are times like a Friday night where I'm just like, I'm waiting for my honey to come home and I'm just like, okay, I deserve this. I had a long week. Let me see what everyone else is doing. And then I go on Facebook or social uh, uh, Instagram and then there's like, it's Facebook that this happens where like, cause I'm from Minnesota. So I have a lot of um, my people back in Minnesota and they, there's this community where <laughs> I don't care. I'm talking about y'all. <laughs> Uh, there's this community, this African community where there's a lot of drama going on and stuff. So like sometimes I scroll down on the page and like, it's not like I'm not following them, but you can go into the groups and stuff and see. And then you just see what's going on and you see these women, like grown women, like going back and forth with each other, like fighting and talking a whole bunch of nonsense to each other. Just like, catch me outside and all this stuff. Cut it out. Okay, don't be one of those women. Don't be one of those women. As a high valued woman, we don't do drama. It's tacky. First and foremost, we don't even put other women down. Like, I can't see me insulting or putting another woman down, let alone on social media. Like, I can never do that. It's not, it's not elegant. It's not, you know, it's not very godly. <laughs> 
I just threw that word out there, girl. I didn't even know what I was saying. Um, it's not something that you should do as a high valued woman. You want to respect yourself enough to where you don't put yourself in situations like that. So if you're one of those people that, you know, you're conflicting or going back and forth on social media with someone or in real life no 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 no. you don't need to when i said be selective of the people you surround yourself with that's what i mean you don't need to be surrounding yourself with people where you're fighting with like i'm never going to be in that position where i put another woman down or another person down it's just not my character it's not who i am don't be tacky because fighting on social media or being in drama or gossiping all of those things that you know make someone else feel bad about themselves is tacky don't be tacky. We don't do tackiness, okay? As a high value woman, you uplift other people. She's comfortable in her skin. A high value woman is comfortable in her skin. She's comfortable with the person that she is. Don't be influenced by what society wants us to be or who society wants us to be. Figure out who you are, get to know yourself, be comfortable with being alone, be comfortable with enjoying your own company, figure out that woman that you are and love that woman for who she is. Because when other people come into your life, which they will try to, they'll try to change you to become more like them, more like the woman that they want you to become. But once you know who you are and you're comfortable with who you are, you can't be influenced like that. You know what I mean? You don't get to question yourself. I am solid in who I am. There are certain things that I know in myself, who I am as a woman, that not a man, not even my mom or my sister or my friends, no one can tell me anything otherwise because I know who I am as a woman. I know what I bring to the table. I know me because I've taken the time to get to know me and I'm still learning me, right? Because every stage in your life, there's, you know, a different mindset, a different, there's, there's different stages in your life and you become a different version of yourself. But the person that I am now, I am confident to tell you that I know myself, so I can't be influenced. You can't make me do anything I don't want to do. You can't change my beliefs unless it's something that, you know, okay, that makes sense. But so as a confident um, as a high valued woman, it's very important to know who you are, to be comfortable with who you are, to accept you for you, to love you, so that when someone comes into your life, they're only there to elevate you, to make you a better version of yourself, not to bring you down or to shape you into something that you're not. So get to know yourself and be comfortable with being alone. Get comfortable with you know, just going on a date with yourself or going for a walk with yourself or having conversations with yourself, spending time with you so that you don't get in situations where, you know, it's toxic, but because you don't want to be alone because you're not good with yourself, because you're not happy with yourself, you're constantly dealing with situations. So be comfortable with yourself. Be comfortable in your skin. That is a quality of a high valued woman. Now, I know I said five qualities, but if you watch this far, then you deserve another one, right? Yeah, so thank you for getting this far in the video. I do appreciate it. But the last thing I would say is that she knows she's dope because of her creator. So check this, right? I know I'm gold because God created me. So God created Adam and he thought he was done. It's like, yeah. I created this. This is good. We're good. Everyone's good. Carry on. And then he was like, no, come back. Come back. We need Eve. You need a woman. So then God created me. So always think about that, right? Always think about that. You're not better than a man because men are like, they're dope. But you are a woman. God said, wait, hold on. You need Eve. So God created you. Just, just let, that, let, let that sink in for a while. You are as dope as it gets men are super dope too no one's better than the other but just as women because we're so emotional and there's so many things where like we're always questioning our worth and whatnot so i'm speaking to us and i just want you to remember every single time you're doubting yourself or every time you don't think you're good enough just remember god created eve as a high valued woman i move accordingly because i know i'm not just anybody i know that i'm a woman i bring i create life that's pretty dope. All I'm trying to say is as a high value woman, you have to know your worth and you have to know that you're pretty dope because you are Eve, okay? And to carry yourself as such. 
So I've only given six qualities of a high value woman and I'm sure there's a lot of others out there. So down below, if you have some that I did not share in this video, put it down in the comments so that, you know, my girls can see it and, you know, we can all implement it into our life so that we can continue this discussion. Again, my name is Nana, Nana Scott, and I can't wait to see you ladies in the next video. Just remember that you are gold. You bring so much to the table and the life that you want, you can have. The woman that you want to be, it is yours. You just got to believe in yourself and you just got to move accordingly.